had an extraordinary situation where another American player, Jeff Tarango, walked off court. He quit in the middle of a match. Let's show you some of the uh, pictures here of the incident. Here he is arguing with a supervisor, having had no, a row with the umpire. I'm not, no, I'm not playing. No way. No Let's way. Play. Let's, Let's play. play. You are the most corrupt official in the game, and you can't do that. Court violation, verbal abuse, point penalty, no Mr. Tango. That's it! He walked off court. Morons, uh, his opponent, an innocent party here, uh, is the man who would play Agassi next, incidentally. Well, he made some allegations about the umpire uh, afterwards, and uh, we're going to get an assessment on what happened now from Alan Mills, the tournament referee. Officials really have to, they do not speak to the press. I mean, they do not comment about their matches. They're not allowed to comment about their matches. There won't be a comment from him during these championships, or the comment is no comment, if that's the way you'd like to have it. Um, I think he has some powerful rights that he needs to examine and uh, decide what to do. Will Bruno continue to officiate in these championships? Yes, he will. Because as Bill said, I mean, he is acknowledged as one of the finest chair umpires in the world. Will he be the wealth of experience. given the option to come in? If, if Mr. Trango wanted to play here next year, would he be allowed back? Well, I don't really see any reason why he shouldn't be allowed back. I mean, there's, his comments were not against the All England Lawn Tennis Club. The fine for the default will be determined and will... You'll probably hear that. If you don't hear it later tonight, it will certainly be out tomorrow. Can you name a number? No, I can't name a number at the moment. Can you name a neighborhood? <laughs> neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Uh, five figures, I would think. Well, it was an extraordinary thing there today. Um, Tarango walking off court. Um, his wife admitted uh, striking the umpire after that, and uh, there'll be all sorts of repercussions about that. Very sad situation indeed. Now, uh, we are going to bring you a little more action of a match that um, has just finished on another court. And we'll do that in a second or two. It's another lovely evening here at uh, Wimbledon. The temperatures have been well down today. Yesterday it was 110. Today, I think, on centre court, it's more like about 65 or something like that. But um, much more pleasant for playing tennis. And I think for watching it, too, as far as the uh, fans were concerned. Now, here's uh, the match I was mentioning. It's between Mats Verlander, uh, the former world number one from Sweden, today playing Jan Elting of Holland, uh, who knocked out Michael Stieg, creating a big upset um, a little earlier in the tournament. We have a tie-break in the third set. Elting's won the first two, and here's the tie-break. Zero Elting. <laughs> Two zero Elting. Blows to Elting, but this happened in the first set tiebreak as well. Philander won four points in a row, but then Elting won six in a row. Four zero Elting. Maybe Max Lander has left this tiebreak a little late, but this was a super backhand. Whipped it cross court. 
Nice little control on the ball. He has now two serves. Desperately needs both of them to have any chance at all. flow in this match the pendulum has swung so many times in this third set particularly it really is impossible to know where it's going oh magnificent return 5-2 That superb return gives him the opportunity to serve for the match. Just two points away from it. Jaco Elting. shot to attempt whether there was any tensing of the muscles there it's hard to know but it was a fairly crucial one Bold second serve. Three match points now, staring Mats Valander in the face. What's he made of? Six four Elting. <laughs> Game seven match Elting. Three sets to love. Seven six, six three, seven six. Mats goes out of the tournament. Elting goes into the last sixteen. And we can show you the last sixteen in the men's tournament now. This will all begin for you, of course, on Monday. Agassi against Mrons, Elting will play Wayne Ferreira, the number seven seed. Becker against Dick Norman, who came through as a lucky loser from the qualifying and has got to the last 16. That's a brilliant performance. Pielin of France plays Korda. Kafelnikov against Krikstein. Todd Martin, semi-finalist last year against Ivan Isovic, finalist last year. Matsuoka of Japan plays Michael Joyce of the USA. And Ruzedski, of course, against Pete Sampras, and we'll see that match for sure, on Monday. Now, let's bring you the closing moments of a ladies' singles match today. Kimiko Darty, seeded six from Japan, against Tammy Whitlinger-Jones of the USA. Closing moments of the third and final set. Now, Kimiko Darty serving for the match, 5-3. Start not an easy overhead with all this wind gusting around. Dirty long. Dirty 
Now, let's bring you the closing moments of a ladies' singles match today. Kimiko Darty seeded six from Japan against Tammy Whitlinger-Jones of the USA. Closing moments of the third and final set. Now, Kimiko Darty serving for the match, 5-3. Start not an easy overhead with all this wind gusting around. Just getting up a little bit high for a yeah. and they're playing a positive approach shot cross court sometimes opens up the angles but here she reads that one, steps in, straight into the open space. Just fired by Tammy. And 30 love this game now has won three straight points. And the last point, the point of the match. Chief break back point. Date serving for the match. Tita.